Well, folks, get the bells ready because the ponies and the bots are not stopping, okay? We got a Call of Duty event. We're also hearing about free online coming to PlayStation 5 and PlayStation 4. I'm having a hard time believe that situation, but that's apparently the news going around. We're going to be getting right into the story. If you're new, make sure to smash. And let's go for two likes for the YouTube algorithm because coming in at our number seven spot, my guy, on oh God, you might want to sit down. You might want to start drinking some prawn juice. I mean, damn, son, like gaming, it, is it real? Really happening report future xbox games might have ads tech is being developed damn bro like listen man back in my days you would pay like 60 dollars for a game and, and the game would come out complete okay it would have everything that you ever wanted and nowadays motherfuckers out there developing like technologies and they're talking about your your ad <laughs> Your ad here. Listen, man, how much more can a gamer suffer? First, we gotta worry about unfinished games. We gotta worry about no campaigns. I mean, god damn, raise your hand if you're excited to see more more ads inside your favorite video games. I uh, I didn't I don't see any hands. Nowadays, you gotta have like three, four jobs. You gotta be selling your, your kidneys in order to afford gaming. I mean, damn, bro. Now, apparently, this story is coming from Business Insider, and they're saying that Microsoft wants to work with ad tech companies to create a system that will allow brands and advertisers to buy and place ads in free-to-play <laughs> Xbox games according to two people two people who spoke to insider and who are reportedly involved with the program's ongoing planning and negotiations seriously man if you're an Xbox fan you need to stand up okay you need to stand up you gotta take your hands okay take your hands put it on the side of your hips okay you gotta man the F up okay just like how they, they tried to increase the Xbox Live gold price a couple of months ago and people went in gang gang style that's basically what we need right now because you know that if Microsoft does this Sony is gonna do that then Nintendo is gonna do that I don't know if they do that or not i really don't play on nintendo so i'm a little bit ignorant my guy according to these sources the ads could appear as digitally rendered billboards in a racing game or open world adventure damn okay damn oh yo could God. you imagine running ads in forza could you imagine like ads in uh, like call of duty in the future when like microsoft gets to buy that fully and this is where it gets a little bit interesting because a spokesperson for microsoft <laughs> told Kotaku that while it is always looking for ways to improve the experience my guy listen man you add ads in games it does not improve player experience okay not adding ads improves it. I mean we, we, we never had ads in video games you have your goddamn mind out there the way you improve player experience is by making online free to play okay like I i'm just saying okay smash the like button if you think i'm spitting facts right now and the funny thing here is that and completely understandable thing drifter came out he made a video on the twitter streets out there and here's what he had to the say moment that my console games start giving me as many pop-ups and ads and things to watch as my mobile games do i'm out i, I really that's one of the main reasons i don't play mobile games is it's so hard to avoid all the ads or even in a game that you pay for there's so many pop-ups it's miserable i really don't don't want to see that come to xbox this gaming industry it's a disease my guy only the gaming industry find like loopholes and like first uh you know, we gotta have like 20 dollars skins we gotta have dlc packs we gotta have season passes battle passes unfinished games no campaigns online only even if a, if, a, if a game is a single player game gotta always have online play fella and now you gotta have ads okay and ladies and gentlemen if you thought this story was bad well Square Enix president reiterates that he has the desire to make play to earn crypto games. There are two groups of people. Group number one, somebody stop this man. Number two, I really like this guy. Gaming. Gaming, ladies and gentlemen, and also in the news. Now, this situation, honestly, I don't even know why I'm covering this, okay? Because a lot of you added me in this situation. A lot of people are talking about it. There's like a massive controversy going around with God of War Ragnarok because it looks like a DLC. Not my words. That's basically what they're saying. Don't get mad at me. I'm not not my opinion okay not my opinion I love God of War and I have to say this bro God of War 2018 okay I'm not talking about Ragnarok God of War 2018 those graphics move fire bro like they still hold up to this day and let's be real man if you're a fan of that game or not whether you're a Sony pony whether you're not a Sony pony you look at the graphics you're like damn bro and God of War Ragnarok is obviously a direct sequel so it's gonna look a little bit closer to that but we're not even talking the game looking bad right like the game looks identical a little bit better but obviously 
Obviously, it's not crazy different from the God of War 2018. And apparently, this is where the Twitter streets are exchanging their social credits. And Gandalf, this is like a bot account, right? Like, this bot account likes to troll the, the, the upshed uh, PlayStation fame, boys. I mean, listen, bro. Different strokes for different folks, okay? It doesn't matter. At the end of the day, it's just gaming stuff, man. Why get mad over stuff like that? But he says that Pony's out here attacking God of War creator David Jeff because he said that God of War Ragnarok looks like DLC. Yeah, ponies are having a hard time <laughs> accepting reality. And listen, man, some ponies are really going too hard. These are facts, okay? Facts do not care about feelings. But apparently the situation here is that he dropped receipts. You can see the original God of War director. He's making those faces. And the funny thing here is that he says that, oh my effing God, it is a sequel. Who's claiming anything else? Why must everything be a thing? I'm saying the sequel looks like DLC, meaning it picks up right where the last left off, plus doesn't look like it's gonna be much different than original, which is, and you can see like right here he cut off, right? Gandalf did the Sony ponies absolutely dirty, and quickly after, a Sony, a Sony pony came out, and a Sony pony was like, man, interesting crop, because you wanna know what he said after which is? He says that which is fine, because original equals Goody. I mean, damn, bro. I, I swear to God, bro. These ponies and bots should have been spanked as a kid. They surely would have grown up to be respectful, man. No, I'm not saying that literally, okay? Don't, don't cancel me on Twitter. Shout out to the homie Jack for adding me in the situation. People are not stopping. People are out there sharing internet points. Uh, he also created the worst God of <laughs> And hasn't done anything of quality since my guy. Like, the oh my god. <laughs> I love Twitter, man. And this following story is a little bit sus, so definitely don't let your dogs out because apparently the homie Oops Leaks came on, says that Sony is considering the possibility of announcing some major games outside of big events. Some titles may be announced separately to distribute media attention. And when I look at this, I believe that, right? Because Sony has done like separate events, like uh, you know, smaller Sony Pony State of Play events. They did one for Hogwarts Legacy. They did it for Gran Turismo 7, Alvish Online. So when I see this i'm like it's not capity cap but however this is probably capity cap there's no way okay but he says that there's also a high chance we'll see a free online play come back if the new playstation plus will be successful this is where i'm like I'll, I'll believe it when i see it just like how i cannot see you smashing that like button you, you can prove me wrong if you want to by smashing that like button but i know that you're not gonna i mean smash the like button i'll love you forever but seriously, this rumor has been going around for a minute. I've also heard rumors that even Microsoft is looking to bring free online play on, on the Xbox. And at the end of the day, man, we just need Sony or Microsoft to do that. Because if Sony does that, Microsoft will be forced to do it. And if Microsoft does that, Sony would be forced to do it just to just to be able to compete. I know this is gonna sound crazy. Some of you will be like, well, no, Shijo. no, no, no. Back in my days on the fat PS3, my god, the, the online was free, man. There is a lot of buzz going around, but at the end of the day, man, this is how they're making a lot of money. So I'm having a hard time believe this on God, okay? We also ended up getting a new season three trailer for Call of Duty. I gotta say this, man, it does look pretty interesting because right now they're teasing that Godzilla and King Kong event, which we talked about a couple of months ago go all right it was leaked and i know some people did not believe this some people were believing other people were like yo man please don't don't bring in the godzilla man it's not gonna be realistic i mean damn bro call of duty is never realistic right and now we ended up getting this image now this was one image right so you can see this is a long image very long that's what she said i know that's a little bit haram but on the other side of the image you can see godzilla making his way to Ooh. the i know some people are shaking on the situation and some people are like wait a lot you gotta drop. And this following story is a little bit interesting because apparently Robert Morrison came out. He actually worked on God of War 2018 and he claims that he is working on a massive PlayStation project, okay? In fact, he actually went ahead and he says that uh, PlayStation has some bangers coming out this year and later on he followed up by saying, I'm not working on Ragnarok, but something equally cool and then he followed it by saying that that feeling when you have three to five years of work you cannot show and apparently some people are believing that this is gonna be the last of us remake some people are believing last of us two factions it is very hard to say what this could be but i guess the good news here is that he, he says that he has been working on this project for four to five years it is apparently not god of war ragnarok but something equally good so i think it's probably gonna be good but obviously we're in the era of unfinished games so don't let your dogs out fellas 
one. Now coming in at our number one spot, the most anticipated gaming story of them all. You might want to sit down for this story. Shout out to the homie Ali for adding me in the situation because apparently now it's no longer hashtag save Red Dead Online. It is more so uh, hashtag save Battlefield 2042 because Red Dead Online currently has more active players than Battlefield 2042 on the Steam versions. Red Dead is sitting at 1680 and uh, Battlefield 2040 is sitting at uh, 1608. Save gaming, ladies and gentlemen. But click on this video on the screen and I will see you right there. Just click it, man. You're gonna.